The interaction designer's role is still one of conversation, but it's almost bridging the gap between you know, what it currently is and what can be. So it's a discipline of promise, it's a discipline of possibility, but it's a pragmatic approach to what is possible. Now it's being, becoming clear that interaction design and design in general kind of can change the world and it can change massive markets and it can shift markets. We can now expect great things from interaction design. Interaction design allows for the design of the behaviour and the facilitation of behaviour that wouldn't otherwise have been possible. But it's a, it's a back and forth still. Design being a force for good, I think as designers, is one that we like to recognise, we like to buy into that notion. Design in itself is, is, is amoral, it's neither here nor there, it's not good in, in itself, it's not inherently good, it's not inherently bad, but it can easily be used for either. If you think about interaction design as facilitating or encouraging or shaping behaviour, then there's a notion that under or a question that underpins that, which is to whose benefit? Interaction design is beginning to dissolve into some of the other disciplines in very interesting ways. I think it's still got a long way to go in, say, areas like architecture, building design, urban design, but there are hints that it's heading along that trajectory. If it is to do with individuals and systems and communities um, and frameworks for understanding the movement between these things, what could that offer to? decision making, so public decision making, which is another way of saying politics. So how do we as communities decide what we want to get done? And how do we interact with each other in the process of deciding? I think one of the challenges that lies ahead for interaction design is dealing with data and dealing with computational systems and dealing with information. Because it's not just about like how do I access you know, this piece of information or this process or this thing. It's how does that fit into my daily experience? How does that fit into my life? That We now begin to understand that simple information feedback to hope that you might change your behavior isn't enough now. So if I feed back to your, your energy consumption to you in real time, a few years ago we thought, hey, that'll be good. That'll make the invisible visible. And now you'll begin to learn from your patterns of energy consumption and change in some way. And we now begin to think that that doesn't work. That's not enough. That the way that people actually change their behavior is by doing something, by starting to participate in some activity, which means you have to set a low bar around something, enable them to get into it a little bit, and then see real evidence of people like them also doing it, what psychologists call social proof. So there are countless areas that can benefit from interaction design. I believe that it's just a matter of being ready.